next week and you can look totally fine so i just feel like we're focusing on the wrong things focus on what this man did for people well he helped them but then after a while they went back to normal so it, it was it wasn't really true oh really so here's what i have to say about that We have to learn how to take accountability for ourselves. And the reason why we're even sick to begin with is because we practice bad habits. We, no one forces us to do that. We just do that. Maybe when we were a kid, we probably was forced to do it because parents probably didn't know any better. But in the most part, we are responsible for our own selves. So if somebody cured you, then it's up to you to hold that down and start choosing better lifestyles and healthier situations. But if you choose to go through all this process to get better, to be healed, to be cured, and then you go back and do your same stuff that you were doing that puts you in the position to begin with, then how is that his fault? That's the stuff that I'm talking about. For some reason, it doesn't register in someone's head. It's not going to register in, pe in those people's head. That's why I don't argue with those people. Because if they're coming at you with that much passion, that's their belief. You can't change a person's belief. Only they can. So I'm not going to sit here and argue with someone who is like that. Okay, if that's how you feel, that's how you feel. Okay, this message ain't for you. So mind your business. Um, I said a comment and I pretty much defended him. You know, um, not that he needed any defend, defending, but he did pass away at the age of, um, they say 82, but again, I think he was 83. Um, and it's a conspiracy saying that he died. Somebody killed him off in, in prison. Um, he was arrested for quote unquote money laundering, um, which I believe they did prove that he was innocent with that whole situation. And still he ended up being locked up and still died in the prison. Um, they're saying he died of pneumonia. And people are looking at that as, see, that's proof that he really wasn't what you would he say that he was. Because how does a man like that, who's so healthy and so vegan, how is he, you know, how did he just die from pneumonia? We don't know what the man died from. We weren't in the prison. All we can go is based on what people say. Well, we don't know. But guess what? It really don't even matter. It doesn't matter. I'm going to tie it right back around to what I feel in terms of people silencing others who think outside of the box. But going back to Dr. Sabi, they tried to incriminate him make him seem like he's some sort of con artist. I have a lot of respect for this man. I truly, truly do. I've, I've experienced so much just studying him and learning him and looking at all his videos. Like it's, it's just remarkable. And you can just, you can feel it. I'm a energy type of person and I can feel energies. I know when someone is just evil and malicious and I know when people are very genuine now I'm not perfect and neither is Dr. Sabi he's not a perfect man that's why I respect him because not once was he arrogant if you look at any of his videos not once was he arrogant you got I read people in the comments talking about he he claimed that he is doc he called himself a Dr. Sabi and all this other stuff when he didn't even come up with the term so women three black women came up together and they came up with a term for him because of what he was doing so another thing that what I respected about Dr. Sabi is that he never wanted to take the credit. If anything, he took the credit off himself and would put it on the black woman. 
But in 1960, in a barbershop in New Orleans, I made a statement that I would do something to enhance the life of the black woman. I didn't say black man, I said black woman. Because we came out of a black woman. And we have a tendency and the propensity to always belittle her. We condescend in reference to a black woman. Her mate and her friends. The world itself, a black woman, she's not as equitable as anybody else. But I said that I would do something for her. Little did I know that I would be healing. Mm. My mama is the only person I listen to. My mama is the only person that I allow to tell me something that I would Because the leader of a people has never been a male. Have you ever seen in the forest cubs following males? Mm. <laughs> Who does the cub follow? Mm. Well, well, how come we have male leaders? <laughs> when you were small, you never follow your dad. You follow your mom 24 7. And my son, who saw me cure people of diseases, when he bruised his fingers, Mom! <laughs> the boy has to, he has to call on Mom. And I'm standing there. His mom is way in the kitchen. But he had to, because that's us. We are Mama's boy. I'm 70 years old, but I'm still a Mama's boy. He put black women on a huge pedestal, a huge pedestal. And that's something that a lot of black women don't even get in this world, in this society. So you're going to chastise and destroy the person who is giving to the mother of who birthed us all? You know, it's just, it's so disheartening. But he never wanted to be that person who was like, I'm the guy who did it, who cured people. He had to correct the black race and tell them, look, I don't, I'm not the one that cure AIDS. We cure AIDS. Because when you single me out like that, it makes that man an easy target and you can easily do away with him, but you can't do away with the nation of people. This is the stuff that he talked about that people overlooked because no people are, are more concerned about, oh, I just want to cure the disease because I want to be good when it's, it's above you. It's this thing is bigger than just you, but people are just so selfish. They just want to be cured and then they want to go back and, and do what they want to do. But we have a whole race of people who need help. Seriously, another huge thing that I respected about Dr. Sabi is that he would say things like he never had education, never went to school, never went to elementary, preschool, college, none of that. How is a man like that who doesn't have an education able to do the, the biggest, quote unquote, miraculous things? of this world such as cure diseases that were taught to us that there's no cures for how how was he able to do that but he looked at us and he would say you know what you're the one who has the education i'm no smarter than you he put it back on us and for us to say you know what even though Dr. Sabi is out here busting his ass trying to help humanity and help the black race, he low key saying, we really don't need you. We really don't need you. And not to discredit him by saying that, but saying, we can do this ourselves. You can be your own doctor. That's the message that he was giving out. You can be your own doctor. You can cure your own self. And if everybody had that mentality, the black race would be unstoppable. But no, we got to single somebody else out and put all our responsibility on this man who is not perfect. 
he's not a perfect man. I saw another comment. He said he was vegan, but he I heard of him eating fish or he talked about eating fish. Yeah, I seen that too. I seen that too. Okay, your your point. You have to understand that Dr. Sabi and the reason why his weight is the way that he is is because he fasted for long periods of time. He fasted periodically. He he fasted in ways that were very very long. Are uh, um you know, some people typically may do a one day fast or, or intermittent fast. This man would go like 30, 60 days, 90 days at a time. And um, if you do your research on him, he would talk about when he had his diseases and um, I believe he spoke about being 